So this is a new job we're starting now, look. Uh, first day on it. I actually came and did a video a couple of weeks ago, well, a couple of months ago now before Christmas, on setting it out. Um, but now the footings have been dug and concreted and this is what we're on with. So this is going to be a bungalow. It's all block work. It's going to get rendered. So I will document as much as I can. Right, so we've just had the delivery of the block and we're now going to load them out. Just, today's going to be one of them days where you just set up and get ready for the rest of the week. Probably won't be much lean today, but um, yeah, we're going to set it all out. Get all this set out. That's one delivery, that's a full wagon load from the builder's yard. But we've got more coming. Um, they should be here later on today. Uh, I've got a time lapse of this wagon that's just been unloaded and then we're going to hit it tomorrow probably and um, maybe later on in the week we might have some visitors coming down to see us so that'd be good day two now yesterday what a washout that was it absolutely chucked it down um, we were so we ended up loading out and doing bits and bats but couldn't really do much else so flip you around we're all loaded out with the trench block yes they're all wet but just pissing it down when we were loading them out so they're already wet um, let's get the old girl started get set up today, got to shift all this out of the way and get cracking. So first things first, let's get this warmed up and then we can move everything about and get going. Okay, so we've set it out now. We know that we're level at either end. I'm gonna pull this one, this down here and drag the bond out from this corner. This is the highest corner on all the footings here. I'm gonna pull it from here and take it all the way around. Come back to here, hopefully it'll work on. But we've got our cross strings here, benchmarks everywhere. Um, and then I've just leveled down to them, put those on, dead man at that end, pull it through that way. 
got the laser level, I don't know if you can see that laser level clamped onto the boom of the digger, transfer the height so we know we're right there, and we're going to start work our way around. Okay, end of day two. He just broke it. Oh, brush. Just broke his brush, hasn't he? Um, so, end of day two. It's been a pretty chill day today, just setting it all out, making it sure it all works. Um, we've got one course round everywhere. It's all in, done. We've got a few of the little internal walls to do, but we can do them tomorrow, get another course round, and figure out DPC heights and stuff like that. So, I'll see you in the morning. So we're on day three, um, setting the bungalow out. And we've got a special guest appearances today. Joe from Brit Jackets, what a legend. Left his house at four o'clock this morning, got a train into London and then from London up here and I picked him up at the train station. But we are cracking up, setting everything out, continuing around with the, with the um, trench block and then figure out DPC heights and get the blue engineering brick out on top of them after. So I'll uh, put a time lapse on in a bit and you can see what we're up to. So I'll see you soon in a bit. Just when you thought your day couldn't get any better, you get another legend turn up to come and help out. Here he is, look. Keep, keep on yourself. The fucking blade. The blade. He's, he's flying them in. We're flying, we're over halfway now. Uh, just a couple more walls to bring round. And then we're gonna do some internal walls. Uh, I keep forgetting to film, I'm a nightmare. But uh, I will get it sorted. I'll get some time lapses on the go. And you can see what we're all up to.
Guys, we're on day four, I think, Thursday. Um, yesterday we had two legends that go by the name of Joe from Brick Jackets and Kurt from Blade Brickwork come out and visit us. I'm just getting set up now, just looking for the battery packs and things like that for the cameras. Let's just see what we're like. Uh, on the blue brick today. And yeah, that's all right. Got power left in that. Yeah, we're on the blue brick today. Um, tired, I'm very tired. The latest episode of the podcast went out, so I was up late the other night sorting all that out and making sure it was all good to go. That was our first one that we fully did for YouTube. Um, hopefully that's the way we're going to go forward with them all now, so come along for the ride with us. lads that I used to work with. Their trolls used to wear really weird. Day five, yeah, day five. I had to think about that one. Friday, um, it was wet yesterday. He chucked it down yesterday. And we were trying to get the blue engineering brick done, but we got about halfway around the building, and we had to stop. It was just too wet. So I, did, I couldn't even point them up yesterday because they were just soaking still. But it's a bit stiff this morning, but it's better than it was last night, and it look it'll look better. Because when you join stuff up in the wet, you always can tell. Especially on the blue engineering brick, they, they don't take any prisoners, they're not very forgiving. So I'm gonna go along and do this and then hopefully get the rest of the blues finished today and on to another job next week. Also got the two maniacs with me today. Running around. Okay, so it's done. <clears throat> the first the first phase of this build is now done. Uh, it's up to DPC height. Ground workers can come in now and they can take over, do the ground works on it, get the drainage in, uh, get the slabs in, and then I'll come back and do the superstructure. But I'll take you for a quick walk around now anyway, so you can see what it's all like. So <clears throat> this is the brickwork all the way up to DPC. We use the thermalite block, 300 mil block, and then you've got the blue engineering brick and concrete, and of course the commons on the inside. And right, it's all done. The wet one, but we've got it done in the end. I didn't think we'd get it done at some point in the week. So this, excuse me, this has taken uh, five days, and this is Saturday morning. Uh, two of us mainly all week, but we had help of a couple of guests that came down in the week. So thanks to Kirk and Joe. Big shout out to you boys for coming and spending the day with us. And you never know, on the uh, main build there might be some more guests. So, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll speak to you all soon.